So yesterday for my birthday eve, my son and I decided to go to Calgary and we went out for pizza. And I also stopped at this liquidation store that has a lots of board games. I went a little nuts. So let me show you what I ended up grabbing. Hold on, let me move this down. Oh. Now, before I get into that, my brother uh, was in town as well, who lives in Calgary. So he said, okay, well then I'll drop off your present. Uh, which of these two games do you want? So he kind of sent me a picture of two games. So I got from him the Climbers. Um, this is one that I've seen played at Falcon quite a bit. So you have all these colored bricks, like wooden bricks, and you have these little like guys, I don't know what you would call them, but, um, and I guess you got to make your way up. I have no idea how this game plays. This box is quite hefty. Um, but I was like, okay, this one looks interesting. I've seen it played. I've heard of it a lot. So I've got my own copy. So we could give that a try here. Maybe today. All right. Let's have a look at this. Okay. So this liquidation store is unreal. Like prices are ridiculous. So I'm just going to leave the prices on. This is tempura. This one is not mine. A friend of mine, like I took pictures while I was there and then was sending it to them. So I said, okay, please grab this one for me. I already own this game. I've already bought this at, from the same store and I love it. It is so good. It is so interesting. It's, you're adding cards and you have to either match the card or play two to change the card that you're playing and trying to match and keep adding cards. But you don't want to be ever in a position where you cannot play a card because then you have to draw the cards. And you have to draw however number of cards there is in that stack. And then if you have to draw cards and you start drawing and you're trying not to get an indigestion card. So this is all about different cats and the artwork with it is adorable except for cat number five which is like a hairless cat. I'm sorry if you own a hairless cat but they gross me right out. So, um, with this game is you're trying to be the first one or the, you're trying not to get three indigestion. So you're trying to stay in the game. It's a fun one. We've played, like I've, like I said, I bought this one a little while back and we've played it so much. I was super impressed with this. So tempura by yellow. And then this is another one that is not for me. This is for my friend. Um, Nessos. I honestly don't really know much about it. It has like a Greek theme to it. I have purchased this one as well. So I have my own copy, but I haven't played it yet. It says Greek deduction and bluff. So sounds interesting. Three to six players. It uh, plays in about 20 minutes, which I like to have those little card games that plays fairly quickly with my family. It's the easiest one to get to the table uh, with gaming event. It's the great one to kind of fit in between or to start the event. So have to give this one a try. The, the art looks really interesting. Like it's, it, like the card looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, need to give that. Get my copy played finally sometime. Okay, so what else do we have in here? Okay, so this one is called Mesozoic. Mesozoic. I really don't know a whole lot about it. Um... It's by Z-Man Games, and I like Z-Man Games, so that was kind of was like, okay, well, maybe I will. Um, that was a big part of it. Plays to two to six players. We're a family of six, so if we ever get everybody playing, it's nice to have options with one. And another card game that plays in about 20 minutes. Um, it says it's kind of three-step. First you choose, then you build, and the three you score. And the card looks cool, and I was... I pulled like a bunch of games that I didn't have into the cart and I was like, okay, let's put them back. And I was looking on BGG and then I was looking at this one. I was like, okay, no, it does look good. <laughs> so we have this one, Mesozoic Florian Fay. So I'm excited to give this one a try and see how that works. Put that in the pot. Then I have Dolores by Bruno Fiducci and Eric M. Lang. It was a $3 game. First of all, $3. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to do it. But then I really like both Bruno Fiducci and Eric Lang. So, And the card looked really cool in this. The artwork looked really neat. So 
I don't know. It's called Louis Mem Edition, which means like himself. Um, I'm excited to give this one a try. There are these square cards with gorgeous artwork. Uh, there's 80 cards in here, so it's a an Asmo Day game looks like. I'm just really excited to give this one a try. I like the look of it. I love the price of it. Um, I don't know how they end up with these games, but so we'll be giving this one a try. Then I have, okay, I've been wanting to get these for a long time. And then I see them at Walmart often and it's like $25, $30. I'm like, eh, no, I won't. I just, I just don't know if I'll enjoy them or not. So I found this one at, well, at the store for eight bucks. So it's a cold case. A story to die for. So it's like you're solving the murder and you have all these different evidence stuff. I'm a huge true crime or like just who done it like fan. Where um so this just looks so interesting. It's like 1988, a young investigative journalist was found shot to death in the woods. The police never identified his murderer. Can you? So you're just going through trying to solve this cold case. So I really been wanting to try this one. I suck at these. I enjoy them a lot, but <laughs> I normally suck at them. So I'm gonna be giving this one a try. It should be good. This one, okay, just on look alone. <laughs> look at this box. This is amazing. So big money, and I was like, okay, I don't know. So then I looked at the back of it, and I was even more impressed. It's like an actual board game in there. I thought like maybe it'd be a dice game or something. Um, but yeah, it's like the game of risky rolls and fabulous fortune. The earn dough, get rich. So, so two to five players. The the box just looks so cool. And like on the side, it's a stack of money, and you can see like the money sticking out. Um, it looks like it has a bunch of monies in here. There's dice. There's a little board with cards. Like, it looks interesting. I'm really excited to give this. It looks like, you know, like a roll silly fun. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be a very serious game. It's just, um, it's one I'm very excited to try, though. It just looks cool. Nice. Oh, and there's the, see the video before you play link. Oh, okay. That was that one. That one just looks fun. And then, so, the one that I could purchase because it just looked fun, this one is not one that has like a, oh wow, this looks so fun, but it's it's more of a, a Euro look to it. The Great City of Rome by Z-Man Game. Again, Z-Man Game, you win me over just because you have your name on it. Um, it says, you one, you place your emissary to claim actions and buildings. Then you construct the building to collect resources. And then you arrange buildings to maximize your score. It looks like a tile laying, Euro-ish type. It, I, I'm really excited to give this one a try. It looks neat. A uh, bit of like a civilization, light civilization tile laying game on here. So I'm just excited to give this one a try. Okay, then... This is another one that I got just because it looked cool. It's called 25 Outlaws. Old West Poker with Outlaws Rules. <laughs> and the, the box looks super neat. Um, the components in here look super cool as well. Um, what does it say on here? It's like, play with a gang of outlaws in this high-stake poker game. Use your wits and strategies to win poker hand and eliminate other players' gangs. Outsmart, bluff, and duel... Other outlaws to stay in the game. The last remaining gang wins. Uh, old West Poker, you play a three card poker and win money to stay in the game with outlaw rules. And then there's different uh, different things that can happen. It just looked like a silly fun game. I love the, the look of it and the art on it. So I'm excited. Okay, what else do I have in this bag? This is it. This is the end of the first bag, so let's pull up the second bag. All right, I have Iquazu. It's a Haba game. So every time I see Haba game, I'm thinking like little kids game. And I've played a few of them, and they're neat, and they're really well designed. But this one is uh, age 10 and up, so it's not a little kids game. Two to four players. 
It's a German game. It's made in Germany. Um, most of everything on here is German, but then it has English underneath, and it does say English rules included, which is good. I don't, I don't speak German. This one looked really cool, though. Like, it looks kind of like this puzzly thing you got to put together. Um, I was reading up on it a little bit, and it did sound quite interesting. Um, like, it says most, <laughs> they have this little chart here that kind of says, you know, how luck-driven or what the game is like. And this one is not much in luck, but very high in suspense and uh, strategy. And then challenge. So it just sounds neat. It looks gorgeous. And you have these gems. Um, it has like this puzzly looking thing to it. I have no idea how this is going to play. You can see like this piece will be sliding. I don't know. I, I, I know nothing, but it looked really neat so i'm really excited to give this one a try um like i said I've, I've been buying a lot of these games at this liquidation store and most of them i've been like super impressed with so i don't know why they end up there but i'm just gonna take advantage so ikwazu that's one then i have this one called vault um vault vault i guess um so it looks like uh, a programming game. And now I have Robo Rally, which I haven't played yet. I have uh, Tiny Epic Mechs, which I haven't played yet. Those are the two programming big games that I have. Um, I like the idea of the programming games. So it says you got your planning, your activation, then the resolution, which totally sounds like a programming game. It has like a four little minis in here. And then you have like a screen and then behind the screen you have where you would do your programming and you place dice uh, to indicate what you're planning on doing. So the whole thing looks really interesting. Um, it says an electrifying game of programming and destruction for two to four robots operators. So like you're battling, it's like a battle robot arena thing. So I don't know. Oh, Emerson, Matus, Mas, Mach, I can't even talk today, but great designer. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. And it looks super cool. So, vault. And then... Princess Jing. Um, I looked at this one. It kind of like to look at it. It kind of reminds me of Stratego because you have all these things that you can't see and you have characters hiding in there. So I'm not sure how this all is going to play. Oh, this is another one where it was in English first. Um, it says help Princess Jing escape the forbidden city. So you exchange the position of two screens find the legendary animals and then be but beware of magical mirrors um because it looks like some stuff might reveal i don't know um it just looks interesting it was when i was like i don't know do i want this i don't really want a princess like i'm thinking disney princess um if i have girls. I mean, a Lily, but she's not big into Disney princess. And then the rest of my kids are boys, but this sounds more strategic than that. And, um, it, it, it has, it like, it looks cool. And then when I got looking into it, I was like, Oh, this one might be interesting. And I was like, I don't know. Do I do it? Do I not do it? But then it was five bucks. Yeah, we'll do it for five bucks, right? So, and I might watch it. Might, this might be the one I like the most. So, it has like a chess-like look, feel to it. So, we'll, we'll see. So, that was that one. And then, I have a last one here. Yeah. And this one is called Medurus. It says another one that is, in German, have a game. Uh, Ten year uh, like for players of year 10 and up so it's not a kids game which i just automatically think of as kids game just because they do such great job with kids game and then i got looking into it so this one is replayability super high attention super high and strategy super high in what and that's like little chart thing here and then looking back like it it looks interesting 
It looks really cool. And then you have these stacking meeples, which I don't know how they stack. And then you have these little room tiles that look super interesting. The board is gorgeous. Um, it just has such neat elements to it and it looks so good. I'm really excited to give this a try and see how it all, and this is another one that has screens that you kind of have stuff behind your screen, so. And the English rules are included, which is great. Um, and that was the last game I picked up yesterday for my birthday eve. Um, I did pretty good. I'm excited to get these ones cracked open. Uh, hopefully I'll do that today. Um, maybe take pictures and then add them to the end of the video. And yeah. So if you've played any of these, let me know what you thought. Or if you have any thoughts or questions on any of these, let me know. Bye, everybody. Thank you.